Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 56. There's now a Ray provider for Apache Airflow, which enables you to turn a Python script into a reproducible pipeline on the Ray platform. Airflow is already a valuable tool for making reliable and reusable ML models, with benefits like easy parametrization and robust scalability. But with the Ray provider, Airflow users can see the code they are launching and modify and template their DAGs while taking advantage of Ray's distributed computation capabilities. A basic Ray workflow in the Airflow UI might look something like this. You can find the Ray provider on the Astronomer Registry, the distribution hub for Apache Airflow integrations. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 35 for more. A new post by Bill Inman, recognized by many as the father of the data warehouse, explores the evolution from data warehouse to data lake to data lakehouse. Inman and Mary Levins note that data warehouses are not well suited to the increasing variety of enterprise data forms or the need for iterative algorithms posed by ML and AI. The data lake is an amalgamation of the many different kinds of data found in a corporation, but it has no support for transactions and no enforcement of data quality or governance. A new architecture class called Data Lakehouse enables open direct access via open formats, provides native class support for data science and ML, and offers best in class performance. For more, see Gradient Flow newsletter number 35. A new no-code file uploader from Graphistry allows you to easily see data relationships within a CSV file as a graph. It can display multi-column tables as graphs, and it automatically highlights the top entities, relationships, and outliers. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you.